<laughs> I'm a Karen. I know my rights. Need a view of me from my sister or my mother, Audrey? What? Wait, what? If my management says they don't want it allowed, that means they don't want it allowed. I am going to say that we're not consenting any film or photography for me or my partners. These people are really thinking you guys, you know, probably should pack it up and go do something that's else. Not, that's not going to happen. And you're about to get run over. And you're blocking my sidewalk. So you actually engaged me. I did. To okay. ask you why you're filming. Which, the tread on that's really low. Yes, thank you. Yes, and sometimes they're good people. They're not doing anything. I've never seen it out here like this. So. I appreciate what you guys do, man. Thank you for coming out and taking the time to say it. Yeah. So at this point, I'm going to ask you to please leave the premises. We're not in China yet. <laughs> I mean, if it's a private company, Obviously, they're going to err on the side of money. Welcome to Impact Media, where we dive headfirst into the intriguing world of First Amendment auditing and expose the realities of a society surrounded by cameras and cluelessness. Get ready for a roller coaster ride as we educate, entertain, and sometimes make you facepalm at the lack of privacy knowledge out there as we remind people that they are always being filmed. Join us as we capture the hilarious reactions of unsuspecting individuals to public filming. Some reactions will make you laugh, while others will leave you questioning the state of education in our tech filled landscape. Brace yourself for eye opening encounters, mind boggling encounters, and a whole lot of did that really just happen moments. Get ready to laugh, cringe, and most importantly, learn about your rights in a world where even your cup of coffee might be watching you. Welcome to a channel where we expose the absurdities one camera at a time. And never forget to please take a second and like this video so the YouTube algorithm bots can share this far and wide. We are here in the city of Irvine today. Um, we're gonna do some uh, sidewalk audits and today we're gonna start at the uh, beautiful Starbucks here. All right. We are near the airport guys, obviously. All right, guys, as always, we leave plenty of uh, space on the uh, sidewalk for people to go in front of us so we're not detouring anybody from their business. And there's also room behind the hedge over here on the other side if they want to walk behind us. Look at that GTR right there. Good. I'm um, good. So I am gonna say that we're not consenting any film or photography for me or my partners. I'm the store manager here. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to please stop recording if that's okay. Are we not allowed to record the store? Um, you just don't have consent to film me and my partners. Okay, but when you're in public, you don't need consent. Um, well, this is private. Property but you right can here. see it from public. So anything you can see from public. You can't trespass the eyes, just like you can't trespass the lens. Okay, I hear you. Um, so at this point, I'm going to ask you to please leave the premises. Um, so you want to kick me off of public sidewalk? Well, we just don't consent to be um, Okay. But do you think that you have the authority to kick us off of public sidewalk? I'm just not consenting that we are to be filmed. So if you didn't want to be filmed, why did you come out in front of the cameras? Um, because my partner's feel uncomfortable and they all don't consent to be filmed. Hey, so if you don't want to be filmed, you probably shouldn't work in a store with a drive-thru window facing a public sidewalk. All right, that's okay if that's your opinion. 
Yeah, it's not an opinion. Go. I'm telling you what the law is. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and get law enforcement to come out and talk to you guys. And hey. then after that, whatever they say goes. Okay? So they're just going to come and educate you. But, I mean, if you want to make that phone That's call, totally go ahead. Fine. They can educate me and we'll figure it out. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. I'll be back. No problem. They're going to call feelings police. I'm assuming he was cool, right? Oh, yeah, he was super cool. Yeah. What did he say to you? Uh, he, he just asked if we were First Amendment auditors, and then he was like, yeah, some of these people really need to be educated. I'm glad you're out here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The only time we can see in is when the drive through window is actually open. Um, so that's not really a thing that, um, you know, we can see all the workers, and their fear is presenting them with the idea that we can see all of them. And that's all that it is. It has nothing to do with fact or actuality. I can zoom in all day and I can barely see a silhouette of a head in there with the windows closed. Okay. <laughs> What'd she say? What are you doing? <laughs> So with the window open guys, oh, <laughs> I was going to zoom in and show you the maximum I can see. So with the window open, I can see who's in front of the window and there's still nobody accessible and there's still no one accessible in the back and I can see her now, but barely, no, nothing that anybody would ever recognize unless it was Taylor Swift. Starbucks has called the Popo. So we're waiting on them and uh, hopefully they come and educate and don't try to interfere with what we are doing. I tried to explain a little bit. Um, didn't challenge her in our mean or rude way. I'd let her make her statements and demands and requests. And then I started to kind of pick them apart a little bit. She didn't like that. So they did go back inside. Um, and yeah, I think they think they have the upper hand here, but this is part of the reason we're out here educating people. You know, these people inside of Starbucks are unaware of even their rights. So people say, oh, you're not doing anything by sidewalk auditing, that's false. We are teaching people about their rights regardless of who they are, even if they are not civil servants. <laughs> you, you, have a... you can't film me! <laughs> I'm a Karen, I know my rights! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? You have a good day, man. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Shit, another one. Just taking a video. At the traffic camps. <laughs> That's part of it, actually. <laughs> That's half of what we got so far. What's that? That's about half of what we've got so far. <laughs> right? <laughs> this guy stops in the middle of the road to take video of us. He had, he had a whole chance to take video earlier. No You're not making a point. Go away. There's no shoulder here. He's just being hey, dangerous. Come on, man. He's literally just being dangerous. I think you're on the truck. Is this a day? Is that what you're doing? No, so we do public auditing. Uh-huh. But 
we just happened to notice the chaos that this driveway yeah. is bad. <laughs> Real bad. Hey guys. So you have a, you trend online and people go to see where after the city looks at it? Yeah, so we uh, we have different channels on YouTube. We put them on. Good going. You have a good day, buddy. Keep up the good work. Thank yep. you. So yeah, we do have PD. There they are. Is this is your time to comment what do you think is going to happen are they going to come talk to us are they going to try to violate our rights or are they going to leave us alone and educate the staff at the starbucks let us know in the comments before you continue watching i would definitely like to know what you think is going to happen here with the irvine police department big room on the sidewalk how you guys doing None of them wanted to say hi. Fletcher Jones is not very Fletchery friendly. <laughs> so as we speak, the Irvine PD is inside. I don't know where they parked. I think they hid their car. Why they hid them? I see a car right there with a little white top and it looks like a light on top, but it's, I don't know. I can't tell from this angle. Yeah. So, you know, all the customers are in there jumping in too. Be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's just filming, bro. Like you guys got to chill out. Literally, as you order your drink, you're being filmed in the drive-thru. So when you're ordering your, your latte and picking your nose, they're seeing all of that in HD inside. Yep, they're going to leave us alone, guys. Irvine PD is smarter than that. They don't want to get involved. <laughs> So if you voted that they're going to leave us alone, guys, you voted correctly here today. What's that? We're just taking video and pictures of the complex. For what purpose? What's that? I said, for what purpose? You don't have my permission to take my image. I'm asking for what purpose. Okay, so I don't need your permission when you're out in public. That's not a thing. It doesn't exist. I explained, we're taking video and pictures of the complex. You're not taking pictures of the complex. You took pictures of the people in the drive-thru. From public, which I'm allowed to do. Right. But and that is part of the complex. That's right. part of, that's absolute. You're filming individuals in the, in the driveway. How do you know what I'm filming when you're over there? Because you're pointing at Well, now me. you engaged me. I, I wasn't even filming you. I was actually walking across, which is on video. You, I was filming the drive-thru window, not you. So you actually engaged me. I did, to ask okay. you why you're filming. Which is weird, to, to engage somebody with a camera that then ask why they're filming you. I wanted an explanation as to why you were filming me. Hey. It was a simple question. And I answered that simple question, you, you kept did going. Not. You said, I'm, I'm filming, filming the complex, but which this is part my car. Doesn't, now Wait, because you, you interrupted day. me. And I got the finger, sweet. Did the cops leave? Yeah, I don't know where they came out of, but I saw them like, so, I lied. Apparently, we're in Costa Mesa. He interrupted me. <laughs> so, that cop didn't yield to a pedestrian. So, that police bike would have hit me if I didn't stop. What's that? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> What's that? You guys called us over. You're also, you also have red orange. What the hell? 
red and white he stopped to talk to us and be on video that was crazy i love that one when friends of being filmed in passing which is what this gentleman was doing filming and passing as they kind of leave the driveway you know not a big deal i mean you, you drive by cameras all day the drive throughs that you just went through have cameras so when you roll down your window to then say hey what are you guys doing so it kind of calls us over gets our attention we kind of zoom in we got to get ready for sound to pick up the mic uh or the to pick up the audio on the mic to then tell us do you not film me like bro really you would have been cut out in the first place so we're out here to remind people that you're being filmed all of the time and that you know if you want to create privacy in public you got to create it yourself so it's just educational stuff that we do um to, and just to remind people of our rights and you know that's the we're not simplest. In China yet. What's that? We're not in China yet. <laughs> That's the easiest way to kind of explain what we're doing. Um, people get really upset. Some people don't. It is what it is. But we're just out here to remind people. That, you know, it's not my rights. It's our rights. You know. Yeah. And the the more we let people kind of chip them away, then we start losing you know our freedoms. And that's not what we're about here. Got it. I mean, he was nice to us earlier, so it's all good. Yeah, but he was nice, but recording us, so it's different. So we record people, but we don't walk up. We're very blatant about it, but we don't get in your face and do it. Yeah, we don't we don't do it secretly, and we, we we're not walking up and getting in people's faces to do it. So that's the difference. We are very openly out here recording. <laughs> Yeah, he's calling on us for sure. He wasn't nice. He was recording the whole interaction. He just wanted information to give it to the people inside Starbucks. But I think the police are educating him over the phone. Our freedoms are sad in this country. You realize we're standing up for your rights, sir, right? Oh, he called the attorney. The guys, the poor cop showed up. What's that? Oh, no. The cop showed up. What about it? Well, you guys are out here, you know, with your cameras. No one wants to be filmed. Okay, but that's the thing is you're out in public and you're being filmed by almost every building you walk next to and around. And yeah, they, but that's the and business. And doesn't situation. matter. So they can film me on the sidewalk from their business. And what if I don't want to be filmed? Well, that's cool. So what's your point? Freedom of uh, expression? So it's First Amendment of our Constitution. We are exercising the rights right. that we slowly get chipped away from us every passing year. Right. So if you don't exercise these rights like we're doing yeah, now, I'm then you lose them. Video cameras. They can film me, but you guys are sort of annoying because you're, you're, you're causing traffic. Yeah, we, I think you're here to we, help. Hold on. We haven't caused any traffic. Right what traffic did we cause? Well, everyone wants to know what the hell you're doing. That's that has nothing to do with us. To talk to well, us. you're filming. You're, you know. It's false, actually. You're wrong. Right? See? And so you're causing unnecessary No, no, no. You, you, no, no. Hold on. No, that was no, no. You think our freedom is going to slow down the You, hold on. You being, you being a fire starter, which is saying these things, which what then. What the hell's a fire starter? Some, a Karen that goes around What's and just. A fire starter? I a don't Karen know that, that goes around stirring up shit to then create conflict with other people. Who so is? So you did. By you sitting here complaining at us. Then he started complaining because he heard you complaining. He would have otherwise never made contact with us. Well, everyone, they're not expressing themselves. I care, so I'm expressing myself. You can care all but you want. All these people are really thinking you guys, you know, probably should pack it up and go 
do something. That's else. not. That's not going to happen. Well then, God love you. But I'm just See, telling you okay, the other are side you, of okay, the Okay. Are you religious? Uh, sometimes. Okay. You said God love you. So let's use that for an example. Okay. I don't want to be on your website. You've you know, already. You you've already made. You me. okay? You've already made contact with us twice. So you absolutely are going to be on it. Okay. Well, put me on. You know, the name's Robert Preston. Well, know? I don't need that, but. Yeah. <laughs> You have a good day, man. Yeah, but think, think through it. I guys. absolutely am, which is why I'm here. And how come the other two homies don't speak? They, do you want to talk to them? Go ahead. I was. He, he talked. Talk, it doesn't matter. Speaking to you. Because I'm teaching them. I was speaking to them. Oh. And you were talking to him first. <laughs> like, nope. She's blocking the sidewalk. And you're about to get run over. And you're blocking my sidewalk. All right, and I'm trying to pass. She's blocking the sidewalk. I can't do anything. So yeah, she's whole ass blocking the entire sidewalk. Which is causing a traffic jam. Look at no cars coming and she's still blocking the sidewalk on purpose. Literally blocked the whole sidewalk. What's that? What are you guys We're First Amendment auditors. Oh, get the fuck out of here, bro. All right. Hey, I'm protecting your rights too. Yeah, yeah, that's why you're a fucking Democrat. Actually, you're wrong. Okay. Learn how to drive. Yeah, I think you're right about that theory about liking people's trucks. Right? I literally like just said that. I like their truck and then they fucking go off on us. <laughs> Is this the Fletcher Jones parade? Sure. <laughs> doing wonderful, doing wonderful. What's happening? What's recording? We were waiting all day for you guys. Hey, there we go. Hey, yeah, there is like a little parade of beer. How you doing, buddy? Hey, guys, what's going on here? Ah, we're just taking some video of the complex in the area. Have fun, guys. Yep, you too, guys. Enjoy your coffee. Hopefully your boss is buying. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. You guys have a good day. How are you guys doing today? Good protest. Ah, not protesting. We're just exercising our rights. You guys have a good day. What's that? <laughs> uh, are you going out this way? I'll get closer right here. Oh, so um, we're just exercising our rights, defending the Constitution, uh, reminding reminding people that, you know, you're constantly being filmed out in public now and, you know. Well, I like that. Well, I appreciate you liking it. You want to know why I do that too? Really? For, for real? Yes. Nice. Because, because people trick you. They lie about you. Number one, they lie about you. And then when you're like, oh, I reported you the whole time. Yep. Yeah. Ripped up my check. I oh wow! Said, I recorded you. You threatened me. Then you had the audacity to lie to your boss. They believed you. The next audacity, she mailed it back to me. Oh wow! And they still didn't believe you. So on video, every week we get accusations made about us out here filming, harassment, all kind. Of, but I got it all on video, and it goes all up on the channel. It just shows how easy. People are willing to lie to get people in trouble. Yes, thank you. Yes, and sometimes they're good people. They're not doing anything. Exactly.
exactly. And so it's, I always tell people, like right now, Hebrews 10, God is a God of justice and vengeance. It's his. And then you feel me, it says John 3, 16, for God to love the world that he gave his Absolutely. You have a wonderful day and be safe. And use your freedom because my husband served our military, so you can do that. Well, thank your husband for his service and thank you for understanding what we're doing. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. How you doing, man? Good. I wasn't expecting that conversation. Now, I don't know if he heard any of it on the phone, but I wasn't expecting it to go that positive. And, but I appreciate it. And especially for her evoking her husband's service is amazing that um, she evoked it in a way that stands up for our rights and freedoms. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. You don't consent? So when you're out... No, that's only wiretap law. That has nothing to do with filming. I get the most content sometimes from these Starbucks drive throughs without people even understanding what they're doing. But she was, you know, I'm literally just talking about, hey, this Starbucks, I can stay here all day and get all content. And then another lady rolls down her window and gives us content. I like the blue suit, man. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. That's the thumbnail right there. So that lady called me a fat butt. And I just can't imagine that she looks in the mirror and decided I'm a fat butt. I know I'm not a perfect weight and all, but I can still see my parts. All of the staff, the salesmen from the dealership next door were actually really friendly going in. But now that they're leaving Starbucks, they're not being so friendly. That's the definition of fire starting, guys. What are you guys What's that? What are you guys recording? Any interactions we have? <laughs> Hold on. I can barely hear you. What's that? So we are out here reminding people that you're being filmed in public like 70, 80 times a day. Um, and that if you want privacy, you got to create your own privacy in public. It's just, you know, we do First Amendment public audits and stuff like that. So I uh, appreciate you guys asking and being respectful. You guys have a good day. Yep. Cute doggy, by the way. How you doing? So we are out here to remind people that you're being filmed in public about 70 to 80 times every day. Um, we are also out here to remind people that if you want privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. So it's a way to practice our First Amendment rights. Um, while also the Fourth Amendment rights, uh, you know, against search and seizure, things like that. But, you know, it's, we're out here to raise awareness and remind people of what's happening and, you know. What do you guys do with the videos? What do you guys... We have like multiple different channels. We have about, a, uh, now we're at, I think, 11 channels we put them on. Nice. What's the yep. channel that I can watch this on? So, we don't give that out while we're working, just because, you Not know. Not right now, but, I mean, just... If, if when I'm finished, uh, I'll, I'll maybe come by and you know if if, if I can get permission to go in and tell you, I will. Yeah, come on in. Perfect. Thank you guys for being so friendly. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? When you have a lifted four x four, now that thing's never seen a day of dirt, by the way. So this is what we call a California lift when there is not one ounce of dirt or mud. This is a sidewalk toy. Never been used once off-roading, which is sad, that poor Jeep. And it's a Rubicon, like, bro, this thing is dying to get out in the dirt. And it is just pitiful how it's clean like it is. Winch on the front. Oh yeah, a winch to do what? Tow yourself to Starbucks? Bro needs new tires, man. That thing is bald. Oh, just doing First Amendment audit.
Oh, perfect. Custom Mesa Popo going through the drive thru. Block my damn sidewalk again. Uh, the Popo, the actual Popo is coming through the drive thru. He's cam backing us. Yeah. I'm getting the cam back. Need some new front tires. <laughs> the tread on that's really low. Oh no. <laughs> so you need a new car. Hey, you have a safe day. I can barely hear you. Why are you recording? If there's traffic, I can barely hear you from there. So we're not going to yell. If you want to come closer, because I... What's that? Why are you recording? Yeah. I, I'm not going to explain that yelling. Okay, come. Then come closer so I can actually hear. Okay. All right. I can't move closer to you, so... Hey, I'm not going to yell it. You already said we're not yelling the answer. What a good way to rep your company. We got a cam back. The famous cam back. So would this be a cricket cam back? We got a cricket back. Oh, they call security. Security, sir. Are they really going to put down their... <laughs> oh, that was great. Uh-oh. You need a what? You need a view of me from my sister and my mother, Audrey? What? Wait, what? What are you doing? I'm recording. Been, I've had an ex-boyfriend here yesterday sitting here for two hours and now today you're going to be on, now you're going to bring videos over here? I, I don't That's know really, what you're talking about. Really, ever. really. You don't know Audrey? She doesn't surf in Shannon Mercer? No. You don't? Heather Lynn Mercer? You don't? No. Two people that abused my children, right. my son who has cancer? I'm glad you're sharing really? all this, but we have nothing okay, to do with that. So what the fuck do you think you're doing here? Huh? Okay. From my fucking countries right now. Are you from Europe right now? Is this because of the war? Wow. I mean, what are you doing? What is she going on about? Uh, have your pepper spray ready.
Yeah, after the, the lady came out and screamed at us about abusing her kids and shit. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, the lady like accused us of being with her ex Repeatedly. Yeah. I don't know if they think we're gonna get scared off. Got your photo I like, close for you. What do you mean? About to be the same cops. Now she's going to tell him that we're with her ex. Yeah, we can't even get name and badge numbers anymore because they never talk to us. <laughs> yeah. They just did. They're like, yeah, I'm good. I don't want to be on someone's YouTube. They're in there. You gotta arrest them. Yep, they're not even making contact. I wanna get the bus man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was great. He's just hanging out, man. As a reminder, um, don't shut your business down because you're being filmed. Use it as a chance to come out and be nice. Um, I'm sorry if that woman really does have some stuff going on in her life, but what is going on in her life is not the responsibility of mine to coddle. And while I can be empathetic to situations like that, it's not my job to walk around assuming everybody's going through stuff so we we lose our rights because of that that's not an okay way to think um the last time somebody had an emotional outburst on my videos somebody commented well you should just assume that people are going through stuff and don't want to be filmed it's not okay what's going on in your life doesn't trump our rights our rights will always take first place and i can be empathetic and i am to situations but remember those are her decisions.
guy's black leather pants. This is gonna be hot as hell to wear. Yeah. I appreciate what you guys do, man. Thank you for coming out and taking the time to say it. Yeah, I, I watch you guys' videos. I'll, I'll probably look it up later. Yeah, so I'll tell you what. So you know how to spell the word impact, right? Impact, yeah. So double I, no A, impact media, YouTube. Roger that. So one word, impact media, double I, no A. Yeah. All right, you have a good day, brother. Rights, hey, be safe out there. You have a good day. Thank you. Uh, did you say FBI? She says she's tired of the weak ass FBI. She said fake ass FBI. I'm not FBI. Yeah, huh? Is something going on? Like an event or something? No, 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 no. We're just, we just, we do First Amendment auditing. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Hey, you have a good day. Good. I like your outfit, man. You're all snazzy. I like your, like your face. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Have a nice day. What's up, Matt? Not much. What we got going on today? Just making some video. Video what? Just doing First Amendment auditing. First Amendment holiday. Auditing. First Amendment auditing for what? Just spreading the word that you are allowed to record in, in public. It's as long as you're in a public space, it's your First Amendment right to record in public. Uh, that's, in a way, that's correct. But in another way, it, it is correct. It, it if is it's correct. private property, if it's private property, this is public and property. Private, Slow your roll on it, man. Okay? If my management says they don't want it allowed, that means they don't want it allowed. Wait, so what, what allowed? Well, your management has hold on, hold nothing on. to do with the first But once what allowed? You know, you can't stop people from pil filming your property, right? You won't know anything. I guarantee you, you ain't gonna do shit. All right. I will bet you a thousand dollars right now. So here's my thing with security guys. I'm tired of arguing with them, but so I kind of lose my sheet just a little bit, just a hair. However, at some point, this allied security company needs to teach people law if they're going to be out here telling people their translation of it not okay guys you do better open letter to allied security services you suck you need to teach your guys the law blocking the crosswalk <laughs> How you doing, bro? I'm a <laughs> What's your channel, real quick? Southern Kelly Transparency. Thank you, brother. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day, man. Hey, let's link up. Well, I'm gonna park right now. I'm gonna bring my camera. Perfect, up. perfect, perfect. Thank you, brother. Hey. <laughs> That's fucking cool. He knows me. All right, guys. They found another auditor. <laughs> he actually found us. Uh, yeah, driving. I was happy. <laughs> How you doing, brother? I'm doing pretty good, and you? Good, good, good. I, I guess I'm gonna have to take your face out of the video then, since oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Southern County Transparency. I, I follow your page, so oh, yeah. Okay, for sure. Hey, Southern County Transparency. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Pretty good. So, pretty good. my name's Jack. Yeah. Um, what kind of? Definitely filming this side of the building. All right, guys. We ran into Southern California Transparency here. And where the hell are we now? Right now we're in Costa Mesa. We're actually in the police station. And as you can see, we got a firefighter over there. And over there, we got the city hall. So it's a honey pot. Perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and get started while we have a, about an hour and 10 minutes left to walk through some of these spots and go from there. As a reminder guys, they're filming us. There's no doors or anything, so they're just filming the sidewalk and the parking. Other than Thursday, it's 72 hour parking right here. Never seen that long of parking when they put a sign up. Normally it's just implied that it's 72 hours. This is kind of a beautiful little building here.
each of those rocks costs minimum a thousand dollars. Costa Mesa Police Facilities at 99 Fair Drive. So the sign over there says they're open till 7. Is this the public entrance? Yeah. Shit. I'm assuming that that's the public entrance. Do not enter this facility with weapons, hazardous materials, toxic substances. All right, guys. Alright guys, Costa Mesa, I wonder if they'll let us do a uh, FOIA request here while we're here. Oh no, we're just taking the video. Oh, that's sick. That's, look at that. No, I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's like fancy in here. Staircase one. <laughs> Parking citation payments. <clears throat> they have a little box where you can just pay your citations. So this is a new publication. I haven't seen this down in our departments. So, date, call, and location of Well, that's cool. How often do you guys update this list? I think it's every night our records department comes out. I've never seen this before. This is new. Okay. <laughs> it's just out here. We usually have both of them out. So there's the, the call logs and the arrest records. So. Yeah, because normally you have to request it that's from cool. somebody. But this is, I like this. This is yeah, it's pretty cool. complete transparency here. I have a whole list of the arrest records. And stuff. I wonder, uh, man with camera call. No, <laughs> <laughs> That'll be on tomorrow's. <laughs> you guys list all the calls on there? I, I think it's all the calls for service. Yeah, the, the only things that are like redacted are if that's like something to do with some kind of. Some so we were filming in I think three different locations today. People called law enforcement on us for filming in public. Oh, yeah. um, those will be on here tomorrow. Nice. All right, I'll have to come by tomorrow and check out the paper. <laughs> And then the, uh, ooh. Whole arrest, everything on here. It even shows the charges on all of them. Just, yeah, that's crazy. I actually, for it to shoplifting. Oh, you guys actually arresting for shoplifting under $1,000 now? <laughs> There was a while, you, that was just getting ignored. I think it still is in San Diego. So this is a nightly, I guess they do this every day. Shows arrests and, and even down to the incident calls. I'm fascinated by this call log because this is a very detailed. No, I've never, this is the first time I've seen it out here on display. So I know you can get them, but it's usually a FOIA request. And so, and it's a problem, they email it to you after like 10 days. I mean, it's a whole process. I've never seen it out here like this. So this is like. I think we have an online version too. Ooh, well, nice. Yeah, cause this is a, I've never seen this. This is crazy. And it's detailed too. 
these are keeping track. Yeah. That's good. The only thing missing is the response time. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this, um, for whatever reason, and I know it's probably just because they weren't busy at the time, when somebody had called on us uh, at the cricket store not too far from here, um, they arrived within like four minutes of the call. <laughs> I was like, that's the fastest response time ever. That was great. But yeah. Well, that's cool. Thank you guys for being super friendly and professional. Appreciate it. I gotta see this. They got, they got the person impound log and the animal impound log. They got pictures of the animal? Oh, this is just types of cats that you. Wow, they impound a lot of dogs. How do you impound an animal? Well, take it. <laughs> this is one day, bro. The fuck? I know. Wow. They're impounding animals every day. Every day. Oh, hey, two days with no impounds. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a lot of. Sheesh. I didn't realize you guys pick up that many animals. Yeah, they get a lot of calls. That's, That's bizarre. So I had a question about your payment to citation over here. Um, what if you want to dispute this, the parking tickets? Yeah, so on the back of the tickets. Huh. So a private company is. You know the name of it? It's Citation Processing Center. I actually got the tickets from the same company right here. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I got it from the city of Burbank. But it's the same, I think it's the same company, Citation something. If it's a private yeah. company, that's weird because that's like, it's not in their interest to ever dismiss a ticket so it's like it's almost like it's a very biased ticketing situation yeah. if i mean think about it i mean if it's a private company obviously they're going to err on the side of money <laughs> that's something we got to look at we got to look into that yeah two times it's been by uh by the I have to debate it with the third company, with the third person. Third that's company. crazy. And if it's a private entity, then they're going to err on the side of money every time. It's not. That's crazy. Hopefully it's not private and it is a public company, but I guess we'll find that out, won't we? <laughs> yeah, I'll keep you updated on that. You're definitely. Like too, we? If not, we're going to go visit it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's cool. I like that the front desk is very knowledgeable and friendly. Here's the uh, police chief, Ronald A. Lawrence. What else is over here? Uh, city Hall as well. Let's go there. We're running out of daylight. The fire station down there as well, right? Right, sure. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Damn. Holy shit. You good, brother? Shit. Holy crap. What the hell happened? It was like you stopped just, in the middle of the street. No, it just, the traffic stopped all at once. What the hell? Like it literally stopped all at once. Like. That guy okay? with the long hair was the guy. I'm pretty yeah. sure he was the guy. Who got long hair? Right there. Pretty sure. Yeah. 
pretty sure he wasn't that the guy who was like talking with us earlier a little bit. No, I don't think so. Well, those two are minimal. That one's done. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, they got here quick. I think the police department saw us running across the street and they're like, what the hell happened? <laughs> Which car are you in? Are you okay? <laughs> hey, be safe out there, man. <laughs> this is the third time this has happened at the end of my audit days. Where I've just a wreck's happened right in front of me. I'm like, damn. I think if people get distracted, they'd be like, hey, you know, they see the camera, they get distracted or something. So one was a semi truck flying off the freeway during the rain. Oh, damn. That was great. Okay from that one. Yeah, no, he was fine, but he guaranteed he lost his job. He's going too fast on a bend and on the rain on a wet freeway. Could have really hurt somebody. Thankfully, he didn't. Yeah. Nothing, nothing to see me. One day we'll make, we'll get one. All right. Yeah. Tony, dude, once you hit your marks, dude, you're gonna start blowing up. Just go through and you know. If I got to sit down with you one of these days and show you the thumbnails, that's your biggest mistake right now. All right. So. Yeah, because the other thing, I, I wasn't really putting that much attention to the thumbnails. Well, you got uh, you can't, you say you can't do the, the you can't do the red text, and you can't do more than three words. That's where your your, your thumbnails are never going to get attention that way. Um, but I'll I'll walk you through all that, man. I'm all about doing you know watching people you know come up with us. You know what I mean? Like it's. I've never been a selfish person. I'm all about, you know, helping people lift up too. You know? Yeah, and I appreciate you showing me the numbers because now I see it's like a real, like a real deal kind of thing. You know? And none of and none of the big ones ever share that. So mm -hmm. it's it's something that you don't know because until you get there, go through, look at my thumbnails, and model them if you have to. You know what I mean? Just get new thumbnails going up until you kind of create a new way of doing it for yourself. All right, for sure. Cause yeah, now that you mention it, it does make sense that you know, like from 20 thumbnails, people gotta choose at least one. Yep. You gotta make them. Uh, it's gotta be the one that stands out, man, and it's always the Karen of the crazy face. <laughs> um, so that's the other thing is forget backgrounds. Like, just I put so my kids, like, he's doing solid green backgrounds with like different accents and shit. Show them your, your thumbnails real quick. Um, I use the American flag in a lot of mine, um, or just post office backgrounds and things. 
phone is being slow. But you see how he's using like he picked oh, okay. green as kind of his color, so he's gonna be doing green backgrounds. But like, so you can just Google, you know, uh, on Google, just uh, and he's done purple. So just Google purple background and then use that as your background for your thumbnail. And again, the text has to be really big at the top and it can't be more than three, you know, three short words or two medium sized words. You gotta keep it, figure out a way to get your point across with those two or three words really big on top. And don't use text that's wide, use text that's tall so it's really big when it blows up. Yeah, and then all you, pretty small on the video so yeah. you can see uh, so if you if you go through and change like I would take ten thumbnails a day and just go through change ten a day the most recent and you'll start seeing the views skyrocket. Okay, sure. So big but difference. Yeah, like I said, when I didn't edit the thumbnails, I noticed when I started editing them a little bit, I noticed they went up a little bit. Just wait until you got some catchy ones. Yeah. Yeah, but actually, thanks for sharing the numbers, man. Cause like, yeah. like, saying a lot of people share that, and uh, it sucks because you're new. I mean, even I was like, damn, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how much, if it's worth it. As soon as I talked to a YouTuber that showed me his numbers, a whole different ballgame, man. I started taking it very seriously. Car is done. He was not paying attention. I'm like 90% sure that that guy was paying attention to us and not the road, and just went smack right into the back of stop traffic. Pretty sure that that's how that went down because we were right there on the edge of the sidewalk and everybody was looking at us, and we weren't even filming. We were just all walking. Uh, but there's four of us right now, and. I'm pretty sure he was looking over and just smack. And that sucks, man, for him, man. You gotta pay attention when you're driving, man. This this rubber neck and shit don't work. Yeah, they just store license plates. Oh man. As you drive I by. So they use theirs for parking. So remember how they used to mark your tires? Yeah. They don't do that now. Now they just drive by, it gets them all, categorizes them, and then they drive by the second time, it'll note if that car's overstayed. Oh, okay. It's crazy, man. Technology. Yeah, Yep. But yeah, man. You're always being filmed <laughs> right there. Nice space and everything. Yeah. Well, at least these front two didn't sustain too much damage. That's good. I'm gonna end up going home after this.
<laughs> Learn that real quick. She has to stay, I think, for the, until the other one gets towed, I'm pretty sure. That's a nicely wrapped one. They used to paint these, now they're wrapping them. Ha, ha, ha.